question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Bears and the Buccaneers, and it's coming up next. Well, the Florida humidity is certain to be a factor in this one. There's no other way to say it, really. It is hot. It is humid here at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one in the NFC, as it will be the Chicago Bears taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, the vibe, a different one here in Tampa this year. This is year 1AB after Brady. What can they do to help soften the blow? I would say try and lean on the defense a little bit more. I think they'll play a lot better in 2023. We know how exotic they can be with how they get after the quarterback. Make sure they slow people down running the ball as well. Give this offense a chance to grow because they are under new management. And then for the visiting Bears, they want to wipe the slate clean from 2022. Now, working in their favor, we've seen plenty of teams in the NFL make big turnarounds from year to year. What can the Bears do to get, just get back closer to maybe seven, eight wins, Charles? Well, they want to coalesce all this young talent that they're accumulating and guys that they brought in from the outside and start to build a culture, a feeling around this team that they know they can compete week in and week out. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go from Tampa. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So here are the Buccaneers ready to go on offense with a new man at the helm here for 2023 in his sixth season now in the NFL, Baker Mayfield. The former number one overall pick has had his ups and downs in recent seasons, but he finished strong last year and inherits a really good offense in Tampa that should set him up for success. Mayfield to throw on the first play. His throw here is incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Now a second and ten. Now a third round pick a year ago. Here's Rashad White. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he can even get started. He'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. And this opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that falls incomplete. A fourth down, here's Jay Camarda on to punt for the box. Back deep, Trent Taylor. And he'll get this away into the humid Florida sky. And taken right at the 35. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And the Bears take over. So here come the Bears to take over on offense behind their third-year quarterback, former Ohio State Buckeye Charles, Justin Fields. We all knew Fields was an incredible athlete coming out of college. And last season, he unleashed it upon the NFL. Ran for over 1,100 yards and would have broken the quarterback's single-season record if he had played the full season. He also threw 17 touchdown passes, and that's the next jump for him. More consistency as a passer. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. A man who led the league in yards per carry last year, it's Khalil Herbert. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside.
And we're at the 41, second and nine. They run with a former Panther. It's Deontay Foreman. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. No score after one on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. After the run by Foreman, here's first and ten. As they've got it as we resume action. On first and ten, here's Fields. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Fields now to throw. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 21. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Here's Fields. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Second and ten. Now it's Fields. He's got the connection to Moore. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Back to throw, Fields. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hook up and set up a first and goal. Here we go now on first and goal. To throw his fields. And he wisely will throw that one away. Oh, great coverage down in the end zone. He's scanning the field, looking, looking. No one ever came open. So in the end, he makes the best decision and just fires it over the end line. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Now Fields. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Chase Claypool in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bears have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So that really an almost perfect drive as they chew up some clock and wind up scoring late in this first half. And remember, they've got a chance to double dip here because they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter. So they potentially could go up two scores before the other guys get a chance to do anything. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0.
four seconds. All that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. 7-0 is our score. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This has been a hard-fought battle thus far. Just the one touchdown to this point, it's still anybody's game at seven to nothing as both of these defenses have been out there trying to one up one another. Okay, coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And the Bears offense set to go to begin the third quarter. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and 10. Here's Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. From the 23, here's second and five. On second down, a run with Herbert. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And that's going to leave him with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him. We'll be back. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run this with Homer. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. So, boy, that's already the third they burn here. They are out of timeouts now before we've even hit the fourth quarter. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here on first and 10, it's Herbert. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better, and maybe they're starting to make some headway. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. 
Out of the gun, Fields. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Vita Vea picks up his second sack of the afternoon. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. On third down, Herbert. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down, seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and didn't get anywhere close to the first down. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And we've seen drive after drive come up empty for them, and they've yet to dent the scoreboard, yet still right in the middle of a one-score game. So this is where you absolutely have to forget everything that's happened in your previous drives. They don't matter right now. You just mentioned it. One-score game, this drive here can erase all of what happened previously. This is first and ten. Here's Baker. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Ah, oh, this defense has been so stingy all game long. No reason to think it's suddenly going to open up now. They took their shot, but this, like many others, falls incomplete. Here's second down. Now Mayfield. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Mayfield. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on, 